So might as well go Fox where you have that up B that actually yeah. on Rosa that could kill stupid early as well. When I thought they were actually starting the game, I was just like, okay, you're going to start off right away with an up B. You just, <laughs> just start off the best neutral tool in the game. <laughs> Well, I mean, at one point, the guy with um, Bill Nye was off stage, and Young Falcon just went for up B like three times on stage, just trying to like figure the movement out. Because it does move a bit differently. If you actually land into the stage, you know, Foxes would just hit. But this one actually, you'll turn left and right. Keizu and just keep say going. Keizu saying that this is better than Evo. I mean, it's, it's, you, it's pretty close. I mean, I mean you, <laughs> you can't have spinning Kong and Evo, so like, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Kong and Cyclone. That's why. Oh, my God, Vex is going to rip through the winner's back. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, is he here? Yeah, he's here. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. rip and piece this tournament. He's got he's got Kong Cyclone on the side. You can't oh a move you can't edge guard, a move you can't stop. A move you can just legit throw for free. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Anyway, jabs, just Rosaline. Oh, he's got the Luma Warp. That's a good oh, one. Oh, okay, that is that is Rosaline is I, I don't know what the other shot custom is, but there's no uh, way there's, it's better than He has a side B that shoots the star like straight out for a long distance. Oh that's also probably better. Rosalina's customs are also pretty good. That's why when customs were a thing, I thought she was the best character in the game. Yeah, Rosa does have amazing cut. That Luma that Warp is, is so ridiculous. That's actually awesome. I entered a tournament back when customs were legal, mm -hmm. and Luma Warp is difficult to get around, but projectile characters definitely have an advantage over it, especially if you can just get that good old space. Oh, yeah. and, and the Luma shot, too. Exactly. Oh, but Luma's out. You gotta take your time. Well, not take your time, take advantage of your time. That uh. And if he's gonna keep floating up like that, I don't see why you wouldn't try to go for an up B if you can read an air dodge. Alright, so he's just gonna be running around dodging. Oh. Yep. All also right. does not have a tunnel landing lag, actually. Up smash misses because that hitbox is terrible. Yep. Oh, and Luma coming back die. just in the nick of time. Barely dying there. And and going for dash attack. Oh, that might be stocks. Yeah. That move! Not okay. quite, not quite. It, it, <laughs> it sent two diagonal. We thought point. customs were okay <laughs> at one point. <laughs> uh, so, some of them were. But yeah, ugh. like legitimately, I want Dragon Rush to be Charizard's default side B, and ah, of course, it. lightweight on Pavlov. Yeah, that's that, its own that's thing. It. That is done. Yep. Oh. That up is just so strong. Oh my god. You know what Fox needs? More kill options. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my> god, stop. <laughs> well, this up is a. Maybe, thank you, Larry Lurd, because his new up is a kill option now. But... Exactly. Oh, All right, dash attack. We're looking for that up air. Mm -hmm. I mean, why wouldn't you? That's probably Rose's best move overall. I, I've never. I've, jab. I've always wondered what are Rosalina's custom down bees. I have no idea. What one of them are. makes Luma big and he just kind of hits oh, around. Oh yeah, that like, one. That one is. Super I don't remember weird. what the other one does. Yeah, that one yeah, is. That's super weird, Jake. <laughs> yeah, just like you feed Luma just a ton of star bits that you had and just grow them in size. And... All right, shooting out the Luma shot, just trying to get some good spacing. Dash tag. Oh, I guess Rose's. Uh, I don't know if that was just mistiming, but I guess Rose's air dodge might be fast enough to get out of one of them. You know, yeah, get rid of Luma when you get the chance. Right. Now, when I watch customs, I think that it could potentially be like like its own separate game. The way yeah, with exactly. how different the meta is with it, it's so just awkward and weird. Yeah. Oh, back row. Not gonna do it. Oh, oh. I, I love the option there because he went for Luma Orb and then down smash to cover the most amount of horizontal space because he wasn't sure where exactly he would be. Yeah. Love that option. Is the time option? Ooh. And yep, yeah, you gotta get some punish on that. Risky up B right there. Ooh. Now, I probably could have gone for up there. Yeah, Luma's right there. Whenever Luma's next oh. to someone, I'm always expecting him to do something. That's... Oh, okay. that could have been... I, I would have ran up an up smash first. Oh, that's oh the up air's gonna do it. Rose is light. Fox has rage. Wow. 97% gonna finish that stock right out. Yeah, well, I mean, okay. you you're light, you floaty, you die off the top. Mm. That's how it is. Yep. That's just life. <laughs> the life of a Rose, I mean. But it's okay, because you can get out of grabs for free. But that's his own thing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to, but, uh, anyway, you know, I mean, the one thing about customs is that I am a little annoyed because there are some moves that are actually really nice and really balanced that would be great as the default move. I think of like Ganon's neutral B with the sword, like that fits his character better because he has the sword and like, yeah. and you know it's a much better option. But that's his own issue. That and chart, that and lightweight and dragon rush. There's a, there's a number of ones that are good, but there's it's outweighed by a lot of that are just crazy. Meteor bombs. What are you talking about? <laughs> but, uh, like, can, can I just say that the animation <laughs> for the, the sword Ganon Ganon punch is really really bad? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it's literally just warlock punch, but just like there's like a sword on the end. Exactly. He's like holding with his two fingers. They're like yeah. <laughs> But yeah, wow. Um, Daenerys is taking a very huge lead to start this game off. Too bad. Oh, ooh, almost killing right and there. He spaced Luma so well. He, his, uh, up, he was his up air was covering a lot of horizontal space. Down air. Nice, nice read on the neutral finish. get up. Luma down air will take him out. Uh, uh, 
I, I would I don't know. You are shielding, I don't know why you didn't grab that. Mm. Up air not gonna connect. Up tilt. Ooh, the, up air the, the dog almost made that confirmed. Nice. Apply some pressure with side B. Back at down tilt there. Alright. So, Denair is still taking a very strong lead here. He's just gotta watch out for Fox's dash attack as Vivid has a bit of a habit of using that to get his strong stages. Well, True. to be fair, it is one of Fox's best startup moves in terms yeah. of combos. But it's not totally safe. So. Oh, it is not. If, if you get a perfect shield on it, it is completely grab punishable. You bet. And that, he's gonna come down with a down air. Up yep. smash, that's it. That wasn't a 25, but we'll take it. Yep. Alright, so. So this is potentially a winner's bracket point for Daenerys right here. He's got Ooh, oh, down smash two frame. Guard. And Luma! the Luma teleport. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and Vivid like laughing about it. He's like, well, <laughs> this is a lot. Luma was not there, then Luma was there. And she was there to hit me. Wh wh what, what are you am, gonna do? What am I gonna do? <laughs> That was that was like the only time I ever would suggest a fox to do a melee as recovery. That would probably would have been the only ever time to do it. But yeah. not then, wasn't really thinking about it, and gets punished with that Duma teleport down spin. Oh True. okay. Are we gonna see heavy skull bash killing at sixty? We might also <laughs> see the neutral be infinite. <laughs> oh You forgot about uh, that one. I you? totally forgot about the neutral be <laughs> infinite. <laughs> I mean, obviously it's not the easiest thing to execute, but if that happens... Oh, that, that's going to be fun to watch. Oh, boy. I've seen Esam do that like three times, and it was, it was super hype for no reason. <laughs> it's like bottle flipping. Yeah. It's just super hype for no reason. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's using it already. He's got Thunder Wave. The problem, though, is that uh, Rosalina can just absorb it. Like, if she just absorbs the first one, she can Provided that she infinite. has that down beam. She does, yeah. Yeah. Just absorb it, escape the infinite. But if she gets a mistake... What are the oh. custom thunders? That's another uh, question. One of them is distant thunder, where it just it appears later. Okay. So it's just a better later move. It's not, don't use it. And then okay. there's like a one that it's like thunder burst. It's like uh, just electricity burst out of him. I'm I, I'm pretty sure it's useless for it, but it's more like it's too slow. Just go with regular thunder. Gotcha. All right, makes sense. Oh, clangs with the down air. Oh, look looking for that up air. Right. Up air there. Oh uh, yeah, that's how we go back. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course, why not? That's one of the best customs in this game. That's uh, one of the. He, he's looking it's for one of the absurd moves that <laughs> can break the game in, in ways. It's a good recovery option too. Like you'll slow down near the ledge, but yeah. it's like a nice mix-up. He's also uh, stupid strong when you're up close. Uh, oh my god! Yeah, Vivid looking like Wawa. Vivid, Vivid does not. Yeah, Vivid, <laughs> <laughs> Vivid does not normally play. Oh, and no, wow, somehow no. not dead. Yeah, good DI, no rage. <laughs> That, that oh, was a free that, up smash. That was a free up smash. I don't know why I didn't. I don't know how much Daenerys plays this. I mean, sorry, how much Vivid plays Pikachu, so. I don't think he does, like, at all. I think I think he just did it for counterpick purposes. Makes enough sense. I mean, oh, I've been okay. told I've been told Rosa does not like Pikachu uh, regularly, so. Alright, so kills Luma. Oh, that was a nice read. Still not killing, though. Wrong side of the stage on Battlefield. I'm not quite sure why he picked this counterpick, because now Rose is going to have much more survivability. Yeah. Or have definitely opted for something more like Dreamland. Well, I think it's more so for edge guarding, because Rosalina often will have to, uh, ooh, great. Luma does recover from the warp. It's, uh, Rosalina often has to recover very close to the stage, but it's also kind of irrelevant. So he could have gone for back air edge guards yeah. and might not be able to tech it, but. But wow. Not going to matter! Daenerys is going to advance with uh, the warping little Ruma star he's got. Mm -hmm. Viv is going to be sent to losers. Going to get our next match up soon. Mm -hmm. That was a very interesting match. Swaps. That's going to be every custom match. It's like, that yeah. was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's so weird because, like, Viv just kept going for heavy skull bash. And then Daenerys just read it every single time. Yeah. Just kept shielding. I mean, it's a fast option up close, but it's not safe. So He didn't go for one up smash. Just Pikachu. That's crazy. And, and, that, and there was n multiple times where uh, Daenerys recovered high. That's he true. was going to meet with a lot of landing lag. And that's like the prime time to just run up up smash. And yeah. just didn't quite do it. Gotcha. Well, I'm going to get our next match for you soon, guys. And right now, I'm going to check the Evo brackets, which are not updating at all. <laughs> I, lo I love Evo is, is run flawlessly. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. It like, ten, like I know Renai like, tw like was he last I checked Renai was up two one. Like like this bracket was.